Okay, you need to see this right now. Figure just dropped the first teaser of the figure 03, and this thing looks sleek. We've only got a silhouette, but you can instantly tell this is a complete redesign. It's compact, it's integrated, and it might be the best looking humanoid we've ever seen. And that's just the lead story. At the exact same time, a multi-billion dollar corporate acquisition has landed. Alongside a new robot from a UK startup, and a genuinely unsettling, hyper-realistic face from China. To top it off, the US government is now starting a serious conversation about a robot tax. Let's talk about all of it. So, the moment a lot of us have been waiting for. Figure has officially confirmed that its new humanoid, the Figure 03, is walking. They dropped a short teaser showing a silhouette behind frosted glass marked F.03 Bear Cave with a very clear message. Keep door closed. The full unveiling is locked in for October 9th, 2025, and it's shaping up to be the company's biggest milestone yet. Now, here's the critical tech shift. The figure 03 isn't just an incremental update. It's a complete redesign over the figure 01 and 02. This is figure's first humanoid engineered specifically for large-scale production. They're moving away from bespoke, expensive fabrication and towards cost-effective methods like injection molding and die casting. The body is more compact and integrated, with critical components like the battery embedded directly into the torso. This approach is designed to make the 03 lighter, more efficient to produce, and fundamentally better suited for mass industrial deployment. And deployment is the key word here. Figure's CEO, Brett Adcock, called the Figure 03 hardware the most advanced he's ever seen, emphasizing its readiness for real-world applications. The target is logistics, manufacturing, and warehousing, specifically to address labor shortages. Early trials are already suggesting it can match human throughput in tasks like parcel handling. To meet that demand, Figure has an ambitious production goal scaling up to 12,000 units per year at their Butt-Q facility, supported by integrated manufacturing systems for quality control. This is a robot built not for the lab, but for the factory floor, and its arrival could redefine the entire industry. In a move that signals a huge strategic shift in the industry, the Swiss automation giant ABB has signed an agreement to sell its entire robotics division to Japan's SoftBank Group, the enterprise value for this deal is a staggering $5.375 billion. This isn't a spin-off or a separate listing. This is a full divestment, expected to close in mid to late 2026, pending regulatory approvals. So, why is this happening? Let's hear it from the leadership. ABB's chairman, Peter Vozer, stated that after careful evaluation, SoftBank's offer was deemed superior to their original spin-off plan, creating immediate value for shareholders. The proceeds will be used following ABB's established capital allocation principles, allowing them to focus more intensely on their core positions in electrification and automation. ABB's CEO, Morton Virod, added that SoftBank is an excellent new home Believing the two companies share a perspective that the world is entering a new era of AI-based robotics. But the real vision comes from SoftBank's iconic CEO, Masayoshi-san. He declared that SoftBank's next frontier is physical AI. His vision is to fuse ABB's world-leading industrial robotics technology with SoftBank's capabilities in AI and next-generation computing aiming to unite them under a shared goal of combining artificial superintelligence with robotics. On a practical level, this means ABB will adjust its reporting structure, moving to three business areas, and listing the robotics division as discontinued operations from quarter four, 2025. The division, which had 2,024 revenues of $2.3 billion and employs about 7,000 people, is now poised to become a cornerstone of SoftBank's ambitious push into the future of intelligent machines. Shifting gears to a new player, UK-based startup Humanoid has just unveiled its HMND-01 Alpha, a dual-armed mobile manipulator designed for industrial use. What's impressive is the development timeline. 
This robot was built in just seven months. The founder, Artem Sokolov, who comes from a manufacturing family, stated the core philosophy clearly. Robots shouldn't replace people, they should support them. He saw the toll of repetitive work and built the HMND-01 to fill labor gaps, aiming to let people focus on more meaningful work. The scale of the problem they're tackling is immense. Humanoid cites over 58,000 unfilled manufacturing vacancies in the UK and a staggering 600,000 in the US, a figure projected to rise to 2.1 million by 2030. They're targeting a $38 billion total addressable market. Now, let's get into the robot's specs. The HMND-01 Alpha stands 220 centimeters tall on a wheeled base, moving at speeds up to 7.2 kilometers per hour. It has 29 active degrees of freedom and can carry a 15 kilogram payload with both arms. Its reach spans from the floor up to two meters, allowing it to handle objects on both low and high shelves. The intelligence behind it is a proprietary combination of 360 degree simulation training and real world data, which the company claims has given them twice the development speed at half the cost. For manipulation, it can be fitted with either a 12 degree of freedom five-fingered hand for dexterous tasks or a simpler one degree of freedom parallel gripper for heavy handling. Its head is equipped with 360 degree RGB cameras and depth sensors for comprehensive perception. This alpha version is for testing and gathering insights with a beta model scheduled for the third quarter of 2026 and the company, backed by $50 million in founder-led capital, is offering it through a robotics as a service model. Now for something that ventures straight into the uncanny valley. A Chinese robotics company called Aheadform has unveiled what it describes as a realistic robot face. And the video footage is, for lack of a better word, creepy. We see this robotic head blinking, twitching, nodding, and looking around with a quizzical expression that is a convincing, almost unsettling imitation of a human. The company, founded just last year in 2024, has a clear mission. To make interactions between humans and robots feel more natural and engaging. Their goal is to integrate AI systems like large language models with these realistic heads to enable real-time understanding and response. They have different product lines, like the pointy-eared ELF series for precise control, and the more human-looking LAN series, designed for cost efficiency. The specific model in the video is the Origin M1, and the lifelike movements are achieved using up to 25 tiny, quiet, brushless motors that control the facial expressions with subtle precision. This isn't just for show, there's serious research behind it. A Headform founder, Yu Hang Hu, co-authored a 2024 study in science robotics on a robot that could analyze, predict, and mimic human expressions in real time. The bot also has cameras embedded in its pupils to see, along with speakers and microphones for interaction. The intended applications are in fields where building trust is essential, customer service, education, and healthcare. While these heads aren't commercially available yet, they represent a significant push to make robots not just functional, but also relatable and approachable. Finally, let's talk about the political and economic backlash that's starting to form. A new Senate report driven by Senator Bernie Sanders is sounding a major alarm, warning that artificial intelligence could displace nearly 100 million US jobs within the next decade. This analysis, which even incorporated responses from ChatGPT, examined 20 major workforce sectors and found that 15 could see more than half of their positions replaced by AI or robotics. The hardest hit fields are stark. The report estimates that 89% of fast food and counter worker jobs, about 3 million positions, are at high risk. Customer service, freight movers, and executive assistants face projected automation rates above 80%. In response to this looming crisis, Democrats are pushing for a central and controversial policy, a robot tax. The idea is that companies would pay a levy for each human position they replace with a machine, algorithm, or piece of tech. The funds generated would help recoup lost payroll taxes and support retraining programs for the millions of displaced workers. 
Senator Sanders argues this tax would balance corporate profits with public responsibility. A sentiment that has been echoed by figures like Bill Gates, who suggested companies benefiting from automation should pay their fair share. The broader labor agenda outlined in the report also includes a 32-hour work week, a $17 federal minimum wage, and stronger overtime protections. The authors stress that the impact of AI is not predetermined, but depends on the policy choices we make now, framing this as an economic crossroads between unregulated automation that prioritizes efficiency and a future that protects worker dignity. The robotics landscape is moving at a breathtaking pace. From production lines to boardrooms, the conversation is real and it's happening now. What's your take on these developments? Let's have that conversation down in the comments. And for the full deep dive into the figure 03 reveal on October 9th, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. We'll see you in the next one.